Bowie's Small Stars, sponsored by Sanderson Ford. It's time for Small Stars. This week, things are getting a little chilly. Tonight, a couple of Valley hockey teams that are at the top of their game score off in a scrimmage game looking to hone their skills. It's the Bobcats in yellow and blue taking on the Junior Coyotes in red in what the players describe as a battle against two of the best teams in the state. Ryan from the Coyotes sets the stage. We've got to move the puck tonight, um, just play hard. Ryan's teammate Peyton agrees with the strategy. I think uh, we're just going to have to pass the puck a lot and move the puck around because they got a really good goaltender and shoot it. Meanwhile, the Bobcats know they're in for a battle against the Junior Coyotes. Jake and Braden break it down for us. If we work hard and, well, execute good, execute the plays good, we'll win. It's simple, real simple. It's going to be a hard team, but we're, we stick together, we do our best, have fun, and that's what hockey's all about. And Braden should know his teammates say he's the absolute best goalie. This one is the number one goalie for his age in the state. That's right, best in state. Kevin tells us the entire team is pretty good too. We're the best team in our league and um, we're, we try to play good and we just try our best. And with that, it's time to scrimmage. Three, one, two, three, five. The Junior Coyotes are red hot and strike first and often. Despite a valiant effort by the Bobcats defense and goalie Braden Barnes, the Coyotes jump out to a 2-0 lead by the end of the first period. Ryan Berman gets a few minutes in the penalty box for a low hit. And then minutes later, Trevor London ends up in the box for a similar offense. So, just to be clear, hockey is not for the faint of heart. This is a rough game. The momentum suddenly turns when the Bobcats take a shot from the point, and Austin Smith gets the rebound and slams it past Coyotes goalie Maddox Stanford. But the Coyotes answer quickly with a goal from Peyton Miller. Then forward Ryan Gossage has the puck, takes a shot from the right front, and the puck deflects off Barnes' glove, and the Coyotes score again. After a pileup in front of the goal, Blaze Adams' persistence gives the Bobcats their second goal of the scrimmage. But despite the hard knocks, the rough falls, and the poundings into the wall, the guys shake hands and congratulate each other when it's all over. Headed to the locker room, Austin and Braden sum things up for the Bobcats. This is how Bayless played us. They pressured us, they pressured us, and pressured us, and pressured us, and it kept going into our zone. Over in the Coyotes locker room, there was plenty to celebrate. Oh, my buddy Barrage here. What's up? Hey, <laughs> Are we actually on TV? Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, hey. Hi, Grandpa. Congratulations, Bobcats and Junior Coyotes. You're this week's Small Stars. Yeah, hey, Grandpa. Hey, if you know of a young athlete or team you'd like us to feature, send us your name, contact information, or short story on who they are. You might just see them featured here on ABC 15. Send your information to smallstars at abc15.com.